About two million years ago, the first of our ancestors moved northward from their homelands and out of Africa. In today's video, we will embark on a mind-blowing adventure of our ancient African ancestors who journeyed through continents in search of survival. Let's explore our forefathers' epic migration, the Great Migration out of Africa. In the heart of ancient Africa, amidst the sprawling savannas and lush forests, there lived a tribe of humans whose existence intertwined with the rhythms of nature. Led by a wise elder, Olanu, they thrived in harmony with the land, but yearned for more. They dreamed of exploring the distant land beyond the horizon, where legends whispered of untold riches and mysteries. One fateful day, Olanu gathered a brave group of young hunters and visionaries. They stood before him, their eyes shining with determination. As he shared his audacious plan to embark on a perilous journey from their homeland in Africa to the distant shores of what we now know to be Europe and Asia. With hearts filled with hope and anticipation, the group set out, leaving behind the familiar comforts of home. Their journey took them through vast grasslands where the sun beat mercilessly and shimmering mirages danced on the horizon. They journeyed through dense jungles full of life where every step brought them closer to the unknown. As they pressed onward, the terrain grew increasingly dangerous. They navigated through rugged mountains and crossed raging rivers, facing nature's wrath at every turn. Yet it was not only the elements they had to contend with. Predators lurked in the shadows, their hungry eyes watching the travelers with predatory intent. Despite the dangers surrounding them, the group pressed on, fueled by the promise of discovery and adventure. Along the way, they encountered other tribes of early human ancestors, some welcoming and others hostile, each leaving its mark on their journey. However, not all who embarked on this grand odyssey would reach their destination. Along the way, some succumbed to illness, others fell victim to the harsh environment and lost a few to the jaws of predators. Their sacrifices were a grim reminder of the dangers that lurked in the unknown. Finally, after months of relentless travel, the weary travelers reached a part of Eurasia. They gazed upon the vast expanse of land before them. A sense of awe and wonder washed over them. Their journey had been long and tedious, but it had been a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. With the sun setting on the horizon, Olanu and his companions stood united, their bond forged through hardship and triumph. Together they had defied the odds and embarked on a journey that would echo through the canals of history. This fictional story is only made possible by the amount of research on prosperous migrants that shaped human history and the diversity of cultures we witness today, bringing people to new areas and increasing human numbers worldwide. Early humans subjected themselves to the strenuous journey of migrating out of Africa due to a combination of ecological, demographic, and environmental variables. The following are some major reasons as to why early people might have begun to leave Africa. First of all, changes in climate and vegetation patterns in Africa may have led to fluctuations in the availability of resources such as food, water, and shelter. As populations grew and local resources became scarce, early humans may have been compelled to seek out new areas with more abundant resources. The population growth within Africa would have pressured local resources and increased competition for food and territory. Migration to new areas would have alleviated some of this pressure by allowing populations to spread out and establish new territories. As early humans migrated into new regions, they would have encountered different ecosystems and opportunities for hunting, gathering, and foraging. Exploiting these new environments may have provided advantages regarding access to novel food sources and ecological niches. The earliest people were incredibly innovative and adaptive. They created technologies and techniques that let them take advantage of a variety of settings and resources. The urge to investigate and take advantage of new settings where these discoveries could be used may have been the driving force for migration. One of the earliest records of our ancestors to leave Africa can be seen in the lives of Homo ergaster. Fossil evidence indicates that this hominin ranged 1.75 million years ago throughout southern Eurasia. 
after them. At least 1.6 million years ago, Asian Homo erectus, their descendants, moved eastward and settled in Southeast Asia. A different theory, however, suggests that hominins left Africa before Homo ergaster evolved, possibly as far back as 2 million years ago, before the earliest known dates of Homo erectus in Asia. For almost half a million years, early Homo erectus would have coexisted side by side with Homo habilis in East Africa. The earliest remains of Homo erectus are found in the Caucasus in Africa, particularly simultaneously, from a little over two million years ago. The Masani in Georgia is one of the oldest Eurasian Homo erectus sites that has been reliably dated. It's possible that Homo ergaster evolved outside of Africa and that there was significant gene exchange between groups in Africa and Eurasia. To move through this distance, our ancestors had to acquire the physical and mental skills necessary to thrive in these hostile regions, where food and fresh water were highly seasonal commodities. Also, several variables, including exposure to falls or wildlife encounters and limited access to medical care, contributed to the high rates of illness and injury during ancient migrations. The main obstacles that prevented migration out of Africa were Northern Africa's vast, arid regions and the Middle East. It's crucial to point out that Homo erectus and Homo ergaster were not the only hominid species to leave Africa. It's possible that at different times in the past, other species like Homo habilis also left Africa. Furthermore, there is evidence that suggests more recent species like modern humans, Homo sapiens, migrating out of Africa in successive waves, with the most significant one taking place about 60,000 years ago. The study of early human migratory patterns is intricate and dynamic, changing constantly as new insights into the movements and interactions of our ancient ancestors are revealed by advances in genetic research and new fossil finds. There is also a big possibility that early humans came into contact with different hominin species when they left Africa. The relationship between Neanderthals, another group of hominins that lived in parts of Western Asia and Europe, and Homo sapiens, or modern humans, is one of the best known. Genetic research has revealed that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens interbred, suggesting that the ranges of those two species overlapped in both space and time. Due to this inbreeding, modern humans' genetic composition has been altered permanently, with Neanderthal DNA still present in the genetics of those who are not African. There were probably also other interactions with hominid species, like the Denisovans, an additional early human group identified by genetic evidence discovered in Siberia. The genetic variety and cultural exchange among early human populations as they moved around the globe would have been impacted by these contacts. On the other hand, numerous reasons have contributed to the extinction of individual or even entire species during the early human migration. Extreme weather, natural calamities like floods and droughts, and restricted access to basic supplies like food and water might have made it extremely difficult for people to survive the migration. Migrating groups may have suffered injuries or even died from encounters with huge predators like lions, hyenas, and saber-toothed cats, especially if they were unprepared or caught off guard. Migrating populations with insufficient immunity to new infections may have been seriously threatened by infectious diseases, which can spread through interactions with other animals or contaminated water supplies. During the migration, accidents including falls, wounds from hunting or collecting, and run-ins with hazardous terrain or animals could have resulted in fatalities or serious injuries. The migration of early humans from Africa was a dangerous adventure full of obstacles and dangers. Migrating populations faced numerous hazards to their survival, ranging from unfathomable environmental conditions to interactions with predators and diseases. The difficulties of migration were made worse by biological bottlenecks, accidents, and disputes between groups. The hardships of the Great Migration out of Africa have produced a complex web of human history with individuals and species who lived and prospered in new habitats while others perished along the road.